Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the four-stroke internal combustion engine. So as we know, the four-stroke internal combustion engine works on four strokes that is the four cycles suction, compression, power stroke or combustion and then exhaust. So let's get into this video. Four stroke engine. Four strokes are needed to complete the operating cycle. The two strokes occur during each revolution of the crankshaft. Therefore, four cycles are required for its completion of the operation or two revolution of the crankshaft. Then the four cycles are suction stroke, compression stroke, combustion stroke and exhaust stroke. The first one is suction stroke. In this, the piston travels from top dead center to bottom dead center with intake valve open and exhaust valve closed. Basically, the inlet and outlet valves are operated by the cam mechanism and the, when piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center, it intakes the fuel and air in case of the petrol engine and then volume increases in the combustion chamber and creates vacuum. Air is pushed through cylinder as air passes through intake system, fuel is added. It causes a half revolution of the crankshaft. Then compression stroke. The piston from the bottom dead center goes to the top dead center. While this, the two walls that is intake and outlet walls are closed for the compression process. N near end of compression stroke, spark plug is fired and combustion is initiated which leads to the combustion stroke or power stroke. In this, all valves are closed and the carburetor which ignites the fuel to make combustion. At that time, the temperature and pressure are increased at high amount. The high pressure push pushes the piston away from the top dead center, produces the work. That is, the reciprocating motion is converted into the rotary motion of the crankshaft. The piston moves from the top dead center to bottom dead center the volume increases and pressure and temperature drop. Then exhaust stroke. In this, the exhaust port gets opened to exhaust or expel the uh, combust gases inside the chamber. When this when the piston is at the bottom dead, uh, bottom dead center of the cylinder is still full of exhaust gases at atmospheric pressure, exhaust valve stays open and piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center, pushing out most of the remaining exhaust gases into the exhaust system. It is very important that all of the exhaust ga gases must be, okay, it will it must be exhausted through the exhaust port otherwise it will make a problem to the engine so that uh, the all stroke all four strokes um, operate the crankshaft by the two revolutions uh, two revolutions of the crankshaft the major mechanism used is the re reciprocating motion of the piston is converted into the rotary motion as we seen in the crankshaft then this is, this is the working uh, fuel is intake compressed exhaust uh, comb combustion starts and the gases gets exhausted this is the working this is the piston connecting rod 
द कनेक्टिंग रॉड इज कनेक्टेड टू दि पिस्टन विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ गजी ऑन पिन एंड दिस इज दि क्रैंक शाफ्ट दिस इज क्रैंक ऑन द अदर सैड इट हेज अ फ्लै वील फॉर दि स्टडी मोशन दिस इज दि इनलेट वाल दिस इज अवटलेट वाल एंड कॉर्बरेटर दि इनलेट एंड अवटलेट वाल आर आपरेटेड बै कैम मेकानिजम and as cylinder block which incorporates all the equipments then it is the image of the working inlet compression combustion and then exhaust so thank you for watching friends if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends who to gain knowledge and please subscribe this channel for more videos and finally thank you for watching